whether it's taking the subway, shopping for groceries, or going into the office. To do pretty much anything in Beijing these days, you're required to show this, a negative COVID-19 test result within the past 72 hours. So thousands of PCR testing booths have popped up in Beijing and other major cities across the country. The goal? To test people regularly in order to spot the virus quickly before it spreads. Plus, Beijing is back on high alert as case numbers jumped in mid-June. Despite the rollout of thousands of swabbing booths, Beijing has been building and staffing many of these testing sites. And that raises concerns about whether the strategy is financially sustainable and effective at stamping out the virus. Here's a testing booth. I walked around in this area for about five minutes and already found about five testing booths. And on this Chinese map app, you can also find testing locations. In the three kilometers distance, um, you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight PCR test centers around me. I just took a free PCR test as required by the Beijing government. But making sure that everyone gets tested frequently and for free comes with a cost. The city government hasn't revealed how much money has gone into testing its population of more than 21 million people. But based on the price set by the central government of about $1.20 per test, it would cost more than $25 million a day to cover all of the residents in the capital. Authorities have started rolling out regular testing sites in cities with high risks. But economists estimate that if the whole country were to adopt Beijing's 72-hour testing requirement, it would cost up to 1.7% of the GDP. For comparison, China's entire healthcare budget in 2020 was about 7% of the GDP. And building a citywide network of testing sites also requires investments in staffing and construction. Many of the booths that I saw in Beijing had at least two people working in it. And according to Chinese state media, there are more than 9,000 booths like this here in the capital. Some private companies that operate some locations are offering a monthly salary of more than $1,500. These stations also vary in quality. Some are made up of a few folding chairs and tables under a canopy, while others are more solid structures outfitted with plastic barriers, gloves, and air conditioners. All these booths tell us that China is sticking to its zero COVID policy, which is an approach that's becoming rare elsewhere in the world. Some analysts say China's strategy of frequent testing may be able to reduce some economic costs by preventing citywide lockdowns. But this approach can also become a financial burden for the government in the long run. China's top health authority said it's necessary to provide fast and high-quality PCR testing services in order to prevent the virus from spreading widely. Still, it also said that not every city needs to do that many tests. There are also questions about the effectiveness of requiring regular testing, especially if some security guards at entrances of public places don't check the results closely, or some people just avoid getting tested at all. China's approach means that such frequent testing and partial lockdowns are going to be a part of people's lives for the foreseeable future. And that's a burden on the people, especially as they start to realize that the rest of the world has moved on from such strict restrictions. <laughs>